Big wins over the weekend for the Cajuns and Saints, but despite the return of a live Tiger to the field, LSU came up short. News 15 Sports Director Will Heron hears from the coaches about where the teams go from here. As I said earlier in the season, the UL football players had told me that they had circled this Arkansas State game on the calendar, and it showed. LSU, well, they were hoping to beat Bama if they could find any chance whatsoever of sneaking into the SEC championship game, while the Saints seem to be in a rebuilding phase after firing head football coach Dennis Allen. It was our best week of preparation, and uh, and that that's what you've got to bottle up, and that's what you've got to be able to, to duplicate week after week, and I think for nine weeks we've gotten better at that process week in and week out. The Cajuns played lights out, giving up only one touchdown all game. The UL's ground attack was unstoppable. Draylon Washington ran for 123 yards plus two touchdowns. Teammate Bill Davis chipped in 65 yards and also two touchdowns of his own. And I think on the defensive side, I was really impressed with the guys up front probably as much as anything. Um, you know, I thought they did a really nice job striking, taking on blocks holding the gaps. We had some mistakes, you know, we had some guys that, you know, on a couple of pressures where we weren't, we were too thick maybe on the fit. Helping win 55 to 19 was kicker Kenneth Almendares, who became the all-time point scorer in the homecoming thrashing. How many kickers can handle the rhythm being thrown off like that? So we got a guy that, I mean, I don't know if they're, I mean, this might sound crazy. He's got to be the best holder in the country. I mean, I, I wish we didn't have to find that out, but you know, he's done a phenomenal job. And then we've got a kicker that, you know, has really just, that's hard to do. I mean, that's rhythm and timing. That, that's, that's a hard thing to do. UL will be hosting South Alabama at Cajun Field this coming Saturday, while LSU, on the other hand, is heading to Florida and the Swamp, where they'll be facing ex-UL football coach Billy Napier. Now, the Saints, on the other hand, will be hosting the Browns here at the Caesars Superdome. In New Orleans, I'm your real raging Cajun, Will Heron, News 15.